This year will also see the launch of four Earth observation satellites. In spring, ESA's Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer GOCHE will be the first satellite dedicated to measuring gravity. This uniquely shaped spacecraft will build up a global gravity field map of unprecedented accuracy. This will help scientists better understand both changes in sea level and ocean circulation patterns. GOCHE will also increase our understanding of the dynamics of the Earth's interior, providing another means of predicting earthquakes and volcanoes. All the data collected by GOCHE gives us an additional tool for more accurately predicting climate changes in the future. SMOS, the second in ESA's new series of Earth observation satellites, will be launched in the summer. Standing for soil moisture and ocean salinity, the SMOS mission satellite together with the microsatellite Proba 2 will, like GOCHE, be on a rocket launcher from Plesetsk in Russia. Soil moisture and its evaporation play an important role in weather and climate, as does the changing salinity and temperature of the seas, which have a big impact on ocean circulation. Proba 2 is the second in a series of microsatellites developed by ESA to test increased autonomy in carrying out observations from space. November will see the launch of ESA's Cryosat 2 mission, which will accurately measure global ice masses and assess to what extent they are melting. After its launch, Cryosat 2 will spend the next three years in orbit around the Earth, sending regular streams of data back to ESA's Kiruna ground station in Sweden. This long-awaited data will allow scientists to prove conclusively to what degree the Earth's ice cover is melting. It will also help in the prediction of what will happen to the oceans in the future, whether they will rise significantly or whether they will heat up significantly, all of which has an impact on climate change. With the results they send back to Earth, GOCHE, SMOS, Proba 2 and Cryosat will be, in a very real way, contributing to the European Global Monitoring for Environment and Security Initiative, an initiative that in the end is essential for everyone.